Disclaimer. I am fully aware of Ian Watkins's conviction for what he has done and how he became the biggest scumbag in the history of rock music. I do not support him or any other pedo, and nobody else should either. There's a difference between supporting an artist and separating the art from one of the artists. The video you're about to see is all about lost profits, and not just him. If you do not wish to view my video, then don't. If you do, let's get started. What's going on guys? For a while, I've been thinking about uploading a video on my brief perspective on one particular band, Lost Prophets, a group that was once beloved, but is now forgotten and left behind many memorable tracks. Well, kind of forgotten but not really. For those who don't know, Lost Prophets was a Welsh rock band that consisted of six members, though they went through three drummers during their lifespan. They've released five albums, The Fake Sound of Progress, Start Something, Liberation Transmission, The Betrayed, and Weapons. After their final album, and before I start discussing my brief perspective, let's just go ahead and, ahem, address the elephant in the room here. In 2013, the former singer, Ian Watkins was convicted of pedophilia towards young children and showed absolutely zero remorse. I truly wish I was joking. But no. This piece of shit was the reason why Lost Profits was disbanded. The other former bandmates formed No Devotion and recruited Jeff Reckley as the new singer. So with that being said and done, here's my perspective on Lost Profits. <laughs> Pack your bags rockers and rollers. We're going back in time, to the mid-2000s. For one of my birthdays in my childhood, I was gifted a gem of a video game, called, Need for Speed Underground, for the Nintendo GameCube. This was where I was introduced to 26 awesome songs, one of which was, To Hell We Ride. Even though Lost Profits wasn't exactly a band I grew up with, that song was head banging. Everything seems nothing comes for free. But I never downloaded it until recently, but we'll get to that later. After playing Underground. I never heard about them since. That was actually extremely brief, but my perspective continues in early 2022. On YouTube, I've come across Savox's, seven of the most evil musicians, one of whom was Watkins. During this entry, I was introduced to another song. Rooftops, a liberation broadcast, as I learned the details of what kind of person Watkins really is, it made me not want to listen to any song by Lost Prophets. At least for a while. A few months later, I got curious with Rooftops. Something I should point out is this, I was born in 2002, in between their first two albums, plus I never listened to their music before, so you would think I'd be completely free of guilt of enjoying their songs. Right? In all honesty, I was still unsure about it, because people might think I'm a terrible person for listening to Lost Prophets. Even with the whole separate the art from the artist's argument, I still needed answers. On Cora, someone asked if it's morally wrong to listen to Lost Prophets even after Ian's conviction. Two people answered, and both of whom said no, it's fine if you do. Well, um, I'm just like screw it, I'm only going to live once. So I checked out To Hell We Ride and Rooftops on YouTube, and I like them. Wow, I, actually, like them. just like that, they became the first Lost Prophets songs I've downloaded, but not the last. I stumbled upon a YouTube video entirely dedicated to the former band posted by FAD Entertainment. 
His video was very well documented, explaining how Lost Profits became insanely popular and also added a bit of his perspective on the group, such as saying that Start Something is one of his favorite albums. I left a comment that briefly states my perspective on the band. I've actually thought about making my own video about them, so here it is. I also found a comment posted by a familiar name, not just a former member, but also one of the founders of Lost Profits, Lee Gaze. By the way, shout outs to Gaze, Lewis, Richardson, Oliver, and Johnson. Anyway, I've downloaded even more songs, including ones that FAD mentioned, i.e. Last Train Home, Burn Burn, A Better Nothing. Also I will say, they got some very intriguing song titles, Shinobi vs Dragon Ninja, Everyday Combat, We Bring an Arsenal, and I gotta love this title, We Are Godzilla, You Are Japan. Here's a few others that's also on my phone. To conclude this video, some can separate this beautiful art from the disgusting, disgraceful artist. Others do not. Penguin Zero made a video about them as well. Lost Profits used to have been his favorite band, but not anymore. For Penguin Zero and everyone else who no longer listens to Lost Profits, I can totally understand and respect your point of view. If there's anyone who's in shock, I'll make this perfectly clear. The songs do not belong to Ian Watkins. They belong to Lost Profits. Lost Profits is one rotten apple and five fresh ones. What Watkins did was absolutely horrific, but that doesn't mean the rest of the group deserve to be punished. Regardless on whether you listen to them or not, don't let anyone discourage you. No matter how many dislikes and hate comments I'll get, I'm gonna stand by everything I said. And that was my brief perspective on Lost Profits. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter.